So I wanted to show you um, the best thing you can do for your store and our customers seem to love it. So if you uh, want to try it, you can go and purchase a bag or maybe there'll be a surprise at the end of this video. So I want to do something uh, to thank you guys. It's going to be our very first giveaway. So let's say we have way too many apples. We turn them into applesauce. Quite a distance from our store, I would not recommend ever having a separate blocking cooler for your store. Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ray and uh, I wanted to give you guys a tour of the store today. So it's been a little while since I've done this on the channel. We've done a lot of improvements, a lot of changes. And to start us off, I wanted to show you um, the best thing you can do for your store is to have a display of produce on the outside. It attracts attention from all angles. Usually we have a tent out here. However, that tent was blown away in a huge storm. So we're working on getting a new one. So welcome to our grocery store. We operate at a 1600 square feet in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. We've been running this place for about six years now. And today I wanna to give you the full tour in detail so you guys can see exactly what we do, what we carry, the inventory that we like to feature and some of the local products that we create ourselves. So as we walk into our store, we offer baskets. We really try to get people to pick up a basket because they tend to fill it and spend more. Or there's bummies on the right here this way down here. If you get people to pick a basket, they end up spending more, or a buggy, cart, whatever you want to call it, they end up spending more money. So try to encourage that when people walk into your store. So as soon as you walk in our store, you're hit with all of our fresh pastries, our pies, our cakes, our age wins, our butter tarts. It is very empty now because we had a busy day, so a lot of it is dirt out. That's what you want to see. You want to start fresh almost every single day with this kind of stuff because it's, uh, it always tastes better when it's fresh and your customers will return, return if they get good quality products. Okay, so we like to do a lot of theming in our stores, so we pair things that go together. So coffee cake and coffee, or pies and coffee, desserts and coffee. So as soon as people walk in, they're greeted by our own very own coffee line. We're very happy with this product. If you'd like to try it, you can go down to 13grandcoffee.com and this is our very own roast. We serve it every day in the store and our customers seem to love it. So if you uh, wanna try it, you can go and uh, purchase a bag or maybe there'll be a surprise at the end of this video where we get into how we give back to the channel a little bit. So this is where our cash register system is. It's just an iPad, a scale, and then uh, we have uh, kind of just a checkout lane right here. Felicia is usually the one up here. She spends 90% of her time up here cashing people out. And honestly, uh, besides making coffee or sell the items, this is what this area is dedicated to. So at the very front, we put all of our bib hall items, things like peanut butter cups, bay brews, bay days, Nutella cookies. So these sell amazingly well. They're very addictive and it's a new item. So we put it right at the front. Usually new items tend to do very well at the front and then you could put them in their spot as time goes on. So things like butter tart and other impulse items do very well up here. I know they're not as, you know, fancy or high end uh, as you would expect us all boutique grocery store, but honestly they sell, people love them. The kids that come in here pick them up and they tend to go great with um, fresh made cappuccino or espresso, which Felicia takes care of as well. And this shelf here is all our bread that we get from a local bakery. There is something about bread that people go nuts about, and that is why it is at the front. It is pretty perishable, it only lasts a few days. That's also another reason why it's up front. Um, it needs to be a quick clover, and we sell a lot of it every single week. This is another impulse cooler. We do a lot of iced coffees and drinks up here, as well as uh, like ice cream pies, chocolate cream pies, coconut cream pies. And people tend to pick this stuff up if they're having like a uh, quick dinner and they need some dessert to add on to it. So if they're just coming in for bananas or tomatoes, we try to get them to pick something else up here. That's the whole point of this impulse section is to build 
the average sail. Hey, so still, it's Eddie's Isles here. We've taken some stuff down because we did close to light. But this was the basis of our store. These shelves were the basis of how we started. We started with just fruits and vegetables, and it was a very humble beginning, but we've grown it to what we see here. So I want to do something uh, to thank you guys after six years of watching these videos. Well, some of you anyways, and six years of being in this business, I want to offer kind of a surprise and you'll find out what the surprise is in part two. So if you want to be selected for this surprise, um, please comment on why you're subscribed to this channel. Hit the like button and uh, you'll be in the running uh, for whatever this surprise may be. So the produce is the bread and butter of this store. Weird to say bread and butter of this store, but legitimately it is what we started with. It is a high rotating item and it is a high profit margin item. So we have our produce section here, but we also have refrigerated items in our produce section over here, if you just call me this way. So everything's all your grapes, berries, lemons, limes. We like to refrigerate these items because they tend to last longer. So we'll do a lot of cut melons at the bottom there. Our citrus, we like to do some vague lemons and lime, or lemons, oranges. And then if you follow me over here, we do some chopped spinach, chopped spring mix. We do some romaine, some iceberg, broccoli, all the refrigerated items that need to be sort a little longer are in this section here. So this is our grocery aisle. If you want to follow me this way, this is all of our salad dressings, our tomato sauces, our soups, our canned tunas, our olives. If you keep going down this way, we have our olive oil, our canned and jarred fish, barbecue sauces, fancy mustards, hot sauces. I'm really happy with this shelf here, how that came out big for the barbecue season right there. And then leading into our charcuterie section. So charcuterie is basically, if you don't know, it's a board with cheeses, olives, dips, breads, anything that looks good on a board, people keep uh, this trend going. So into the charcuterie section, we do a lot of red sticks, a lot of uh, crackers on this section. Then we do our jams, our honey, our maple syrup over here. These are all stable items that you just have to have in a store. Following into that, we do our baking section. And anything gluten-free flours, gluten-free oats, you name it, we carry it right here. And then we have our generic res rack, which is actually really messed up right now. <laughs> and this is all your pita breads, your tortillas your burger buns, hot dog buns, very popular in the summer. This is our fresh bread rack, which is empty right now, which is a good sign. It's all your multi grain breads, your cinnamon apple bread, fruit breads, cheese sticks, uh, pizza buns, marble rye, Vienna bread. You have quite the variety for a small store, which we're really proud of. A very large section for a small store is our pasta selection. There's probably over a thousand different cuts of pasta. We like to carry what sells, obviously, and we do our high profit margin items at the top and our lower profit margin items at the bottom. This is a common staple in every household. We'll notice when people are doing a pasta at leap all night because this starts moving, usually on a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night when people don't have time and they need something quick. So I'll leave this into our tomato sauces. We try to keep this together. Tomato sauce, pasta, gluten-free pastas. Of course, that's another staple. And then across from that is our Asian and Mexican section. Um, a lot of rices, noodles, different type of rice noodles, egg noodles. That kind of stuff does very well here. And then we have a small little Mexican shelf here. I'm not saying this is authentic Mexican food, but this is your typical taco. Uh, night stuff, which will lead into our guacamole, our nacho bibs, our salsas in this bridge here. And everybody seems to love that combination. Okay, so this is our dairy corner. Anything from eggs, milk, almond milk, cream, yogurts is all in here. And our vegan, 
uh, door here. This is all, you know, vegan cheeses, vegan eggs, all that kind of stuff. Keep them happy as well. So these are just your common staples that you need to have in every store. Um, whether you go the organic route or the, you know, generic conventional route is your choice. But I'm telling you, milk, egg, cheese is a must have for any store. This is uh, probably one of the most popular sections in the store, this back corner. Because honestly, people just see one or two things sometimes, and that's kind of what a small store ends up becoming. You do want to get away from that, but it does happen quite often where people just see one or two things, and it's usually eggs, milk, and cheese. So that is part one of our store tour. Thank you for coming along. I wanted to get into the more manufacturing and food processing and pet food um, side of things in part two. So I'm splitting this video up into two sections based on that. Thank you for watching part one. Please watch part two. It'll be um, in an end screen here somewhere and probably in the description down below. All right, stay tuned for the next one and please comment and subscribe for uh, the surprise in the next video.